and welcome to my channel on the hook crochet with Jeannie where we talk about wearable crochet style and let's see what's been on the hook today I'm wearing my new lavender and lace top that I have finished it didn't take me very long to make it and I'm excited because it's something that I can show you all and I have actually written down the pattern outline and it was too big to put in the description box <laughs> So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it a little bit more detailed, um, but mostly it's based on your design, your hip measurement, your length measurement, all that will be yours. I am not making it in different sizes. I'm showing you how to make your own size that will fit your own body for you. So that's how I've designed it. I am not putting a pattern out there with this extra small, small, medium, large, all that. I want you to design it to fit your body. So I can't predict that, so I'm not putting sizes in here. But I am putting very detailed directions and some uh, stitch numbers, but they're all variable. You can, if you want the neck to be wider across, you can certainly do that. And all you have to do is look at it and you can figure out what to do. It's not that hard. Now, um, let me show you uh, some of the detail on this top because I think I showed you some before, but I didn't really get uh, very far with it because I wasn't done with it. I think I had finished the back. I started at the top of the back. The back has lace, two rows of lace um, rows across here, and they end at the sleeve, and I'll talk about that in just a minute. The back has two rows of lace here, a, a, a shoulder piece here, and then two rows of lace here with a row of double crochet in between, just like here. Now, I match that to the band around the neck. It's not hard to do, but it matches the shoulders. So I want to keep the lace up high. I did not put lace at the bottom. The bottom doesn't even have a single crochet around the bottom. I actually started, I actually started with a double crochet row after the chain. So I measured side to side. I chained up with a larger hook, and then I used my fabric hook to start right out with a double crochet row all the way to the top. And the front is made from the bottom to the top because of the way this is structured. So you really have to start here. I started the back from the lace, and I think that's really a smarter way to start it. So you chain up, you take your hip measurement, then you chain up and you would just do rows. I mean, you just start it at the top and you do your lace section, and I tell you how to do that in the, in the instructions. And then you just double crochet all the way down till you get it where you want it to be. You do the back first. Make sure it's as long as you want it to be. Then you make the front from the bottom up and stop right about here and then do your lace section. Now, um, I scooped the neck. As you can see, it's not nearly as wide as the Busy Bee top that I showed you last week. This only has one double crochet here and one there. So you mark the center and then a few stitches over you mark again and then you do your um, decreases there only two decreases going here and here one on each two on each side and that keeps the neck from being scooped out too far the more decreases you use the farther out it will go so what I wanted to do was to make this top a little bit more of a square look it's not really square but it's more of a sharp turn right there and it goes up a little higher on the neck and I really wanted that because I was using the lace at the top so I scooped the neck but if you don't want to do that and you feel like it may be a little too difficult for your uh, ability but you can make the back and the front exactly the same and the, the front would just be straight across right here and you would just seam up your shoulders as far over as you wanted to go but I would do a neck band even if I didn't scoop the neck I would suggest a couple rows at least of single crochet with a smaller hook than you use for the fabric. And that's how you make the neck fit nice and close like we talked about on some of our other tops. Um, for this one I made it out of Premier Cotton Fair in the lavender color. It is quite beautiful but I had a lot left over. I think I bought five balls. I have two and a half balls left so it took me about two and a half balls to make this. Each ball has 317, 317 yards and it's acrylic and cotton number two. So you can make this top or any of my other tops in any size yarn you want and use any size hook you want. 
It's up to you, and the fabric is yours. You can decide what color, what size yarn, and what size hook you want to use. Now that'll have an uh, that'll have an impact on how see-through it is. Now I used an I hook on this. The last the Busy Bee I used a J, but uh, I don't have to wear um, a tank top under it because it's so busy. It's a Busy Bee top. <laughs> Has a lot of colors in it. And it's uh, so busy that you don't even notice what's under it. But this top is a solid color, and you can see clear through it. So I had to put on a purple tank top. That's what I'm wearing underneath. Uh, I'm just going to continue to wear it this way. Um, if you made your fabric a little bit tighter, like if you used a smaller hook, maybe an H hook or a G hook, and still used a double crochet, you would probably be able to wear it without a tank top. That's my opinion. I haven't done that, so I don't know. The sleeves stop right here because, as you can see, the square piece comes right up here, all right? And the underarm is here. And you make the sleeves the same way. After you sew the shoulder seam, then you lay the fabric out flat and you put the sleeves on. And I explain how to do that in the pattern. And um, I made mine a little bit loose. I, they're kind of square. They're not as long as the Think Pink Top or the Picnic Time Sweater. They are about halfway down my arm. And I just what I wanted. I wanted a short sleeve. And so this is done in double crochet and then a couple rows of single at the bottom. So it was very, very easy to do. I did decrease a little bit here, and that's explained in the pattern outline. What I'm calling this, these instructions is a pattern outline. I'm not calling it a pattern because it's not really a specific pattern for different sizes. It's a pattern outline, and the determining factor is your hip measurement. Because with the tops that I've been making, they're very simple, they're very easy for a beginner crocheter, and you can make the tops very easily by making two identical fabric pieces, or you can scoop the neck on one and make it a little more uh, design worthy, but you don't have to. And I've seen lots of patterns out there that are straight across here. They're just two pieces of fabric straight across, sewn up, and you're done. They, some of them don't even put a band around the neck. And that's fine. You know, that if that's how you want to do it, you can do mine the same way. But I wanted to give you all a little bit more detail on this pattern outline that I've come up with. So, um, so here's what I'm going to do. If you want to send me your email address to my email address, which is down in the description box, and ask me for the pattern outline for the lavender and lace top, then I will email it to you. I'll just email it to you, and um, I can put it in an email, I can copy and paste it in the email, or I can just send it as an attachment. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. There isn't a whole lot to it. But I'd like to put a picture of the item on there so that when, you know, six months from now, you go, I wonder what that top looks like. You know, it might be nice to have a picture of it. I might just put it on crystal or model it myself and put the picture in the attachment, but I probably couldn't do that on an email. So if you want to send me your email address, I'll be glad to send you the pattern outline. Um, or you can just make one by looking at this. I mean, some of y'all are really good crocheters and you don't need a lot of direction. But um, for future use, if you want to make wait till next spring to make one, then you'll have the instructions there. You won't have to worry about trying to find the video, although I'd like you to watch my video. But you don't have to. So that's the plan for now. And uh, the pattern will be ready probably later today or tomorrow sometime and if you send me an email if i don't get too terribly many i'll get them out in the next day or two so um uh, that's kind of how i wanted to handle this i didn't want to put it all in my video description um, because there wasn't room for it all and i didn't really want to leave any of it out i had written it out and i thought i would put it in my description box and i put it in there and it said too many words and I took everything else out, and it was still too many words. <laughs> so um, I'm offering to send it to your email address. So if you would, just send me that if you want it, um, and I will email it to you in the next day or two. So join me next time to find out what's on the hook.